Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a really special video today. It is Sunday. It's mimosas and makeup. I actually kind of finished my mimosa uh, <laughs> during this video, so I don't have it because <laughs> I'm done. But I mean, I'm not done, but you know what I mean? I finished it. I am really excited for this video because this is the first time where a collaborator has wanted to send me a project of theirs. And as you clicked on it, it's Heather Austin from Heather Austin Makeup. We are gonna be talking and playing with the Resurgence collection. If you wanna hear all about it and see two looks, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I am not sure how I came across Heather Austin but you know you know how it goes like you're down the rabbit hole on youtube looking at different content creators and eventually she became someone that i watch a lot i watch her judging new makeup videos uh, she tends to get a lot of new releases and does really great looks and overall i feel like Heather is a makeup enthusiast and she does have her opinions about things, but overall I, when I watch her, I feel her love for makeup and her enthusiasm for it. And it's just kind of a positive vibe. I watch a large variety of creators and I like having her in my, my little arsenal of creators that I watch one day I got a DM from Heather and she said, I think this was in March. She said, I'm working on a project and I think it's gonna come out in May and I would really like to send it to you. And I was like, me? I was like, I, I would be honored. You know, I, I really would. And she said, you've always been very supportive and I, I'd like for you to have it. And I was like, of course, I'm like, yes. I had no idea what it was. I really didn't, I didn't know if she was starting a brand. I had no idea. So then I got the shipping notification from Unearthly and it said Heather Austin Resurgence Collection. So I've been sitting on this for a bit and I was like, that is really awesome. She has her palette with Adept Cosmetics, which I really enjoy. And when I saw this, I was like, this is cool because it's kind of like a merging of a content creator that I watch and then an indie brand, probably the first indie brand that I really had a connection with and I'm getting it. And I thought that was really cool. So Heather, if you see the video, thank you. And I'm humble and I am grateful and appreciative uh, because I don't know, I just, someone thinking of you, you know what I mean? There's tons of, of beauty YouTubers in this space, like tons. And for someone to say they want to send something to you, that's that's just really awesome. So thank you. I don't want to get too emotional about it, but the more I think about it, the more I'm like, damn, like that's really dope. So let's talk about this collection. When I opened it, I really wasn't sure like what to expect, you know? This resurgence collection is pretty much an homage to insects, in particular the beetle. And I know that uh, Heather Austin comes from a science background. She is a respiratory therapist and she was doing that, uh, I think, I believe full time and part time. And now she's going to be doing uh, YouTube and then homeschooling full time. But I know when she uh, does her videos, she has a big uh, butterfly, um, like different butterflies in the background. It's like a poster. So I know she's into different types of insects. So it's just kind of another side, you know, when you see content creators um, come up with their collections. I know in her first palette with Adept, she chose uh, shade names based on like meaningful things in her life. And then this one kind of shows another side. 
so I'm gonna show you what the box looked like. I know some people have their videos up already. You know, I just, I, I can't. I, I'm, I'm happy to get it up before the launch because that, that's about all I can do. It came in this box and it's got these uh, iridescent uh, beetles on it and uh, some other insects as well. It's a dragonfly. It looks like an earwig. Is that an earwig? Yes. I thought this was really nice packaging and it seems that unearthly has really upped their packaging game which i thought was great so when you open it up you got the uh, resurgence here on this side and then it says heather austin and unearthly here and then you have the three products so in this collection we have a palette because you know we're gonna have a palette we have a highlighter palette and then we have a gloss and I like that. Like it's not too many parts, you know, real simple. So let's look at the palette. We'll look at um, all three products and then I'll get into the swatches. Now I probably should have uh, done this before I <laughs> use the palette, but this is what it looks like. And I've played around with this palette a lot. There are 12 shades. And one of the things that helped me uh, after watching Heather's video, which will be of course linked in the description box is that she talked about separating the palette into two halves. So when you see the swatches, you will see these six shades together and then these six shades together. <laughs> Getting tongue tied. Now the palette is vegan. Well, the collection is vegan and cruelty free. This eyeshadow palette has a shelf life of 24 months. We also have the highlighter duo. You can see the two shades here. These are both duo chromes. This one you can wear as a blush or a blush topper. You can also wear both of these on the eyes. This one, you can top your blush with it, you know, just as a highlighter. I think these will both look beautiful on the eyes. And then we have the Omen gloss. You see there are the beetles and they are kind of iridescent, like rainbow iridescent. And I'm not sure about the shelf life. I have to find the box uh, for that. But this one for me, is a really great topper. I have it on top of the lipstick that I have now. You can wear it by itself, but for me, because I think the pigment of my lips is really light, I would prefer this as a topper. So those are the products in the collection. Let's go ahead, I'm going to insert swatches. And again, with the swatches, I swatched the palette the way Heather uh, suggested to use the palette. And she just gave that as like an idea for people that may have a hard time combining the colors because there are a lot of different colors here in this palette. So you'll see that the first six shades swatched together are the top half of the palette. And then the other six shades are the bottom half of the palette. Then you'll see the two highlighter shades, one on top of the other, and then you will see the gloss. So let me know what you think about the swatches and the color story and the palette. So I was really excited to see the contrast between the Adept collab and the Unearthly collab. I thought that was really nice to see like two different sides. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into two looks with this palette. I will demo everything and then I will be back at the end to let you know what I am thinking about the entire collection. All right, you guys, it is Friday morning. I'm really excited to play with this palette. I played with a look last night that I think I really like. So let's see if I can recreate that. Now today is Disney day at school. So I have one, the child. Cause that's Disney now. I, I don't know what happened. I had a bunch of Disney shirts. I can't find them. And that's partially because I have a hard time folding clothes and putting them away, but I'm working on that. It's Disney day, but y'all know I always wear ears. Well, if my hair's in the way. Starting with this Unearthly Cosmetics brush, it is an A6. I'm gonna start with the shade Regeneration. I am going to be putting this in the inner transition area. I'm wearing the NARS. You can see that's really pigmented, but it's a, a buildable pigment, which is nice. Now, when I first looked at this palette, I'm like, this palette really lends itself to like more bold looks, in my opinion. And I love this like neon green. 
think it's gonna look nice with uh, my Mandalorian shirt. I'm actually gonna take some of this and put it on the lid. So this is what it looks like from, you know, afar. The next shade I'm gonna go into is the shade Solar Symbol. I reread all What did you read to you? The Wonder Ship? Mm -hmm. So you would go from eight to 12. So just four pages. You should probably go from eight to 14 though. Then why are you telling me to go eight to 12? I, I, I just thought about it a little more, but that's not gonna really count. Um, I just, you know what? Sometimes you rethink things. I have my Inglot door line and I have an Unearthly Cosmetics MC84 brush. And I have an Unearthly Cosmetics MC84 brush. That's what I said. That's, yeah. That's it. Oh, you see. <laughs> and I have an Unearthly Cosmetics UC84 brush, which is a shader. Uh, it's not completely flat. Put a little bit of this uh, door line on my hand. Um, I'm just doing that because these shades are really, really sparkly. I have Solar Symbol on my hand, which I think is gonna look beautiful atop this regeneration shade. I'm bringing this up a little bit over the crease. I just want to make this look really fun for work today. And I want to be able to see Solar Symbol with my eyes uh, at its resting position. That's not official. Now this shade does work on its own, but I love the transformative nature of this color and how it looks on top of this mat. I think it looks really, really nice. All right, so that's the beginning of the look. Kind of going in a different order today. I think I took Creation. Now Creation is the dual chrome here. That's the next shade I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna take this same brush that I used for Solar Symbol, and now I'm going into Creation, and I'm just gonna put this in the middle here. Oh, this is actually coming out better than what I did yesterday oh yes look at that shiftiness right there remember that song shifty by onyx don't come for my age it was like shifty low down dirty and grimy shifty august has a shifty mood Mom, huh what did you just say nothing you didn't hear anything from me you, said I a mood. you know what that means what? you're moody like your mood changes real fast. Like you're like a Sour Patch Kid. One minute you're sweet and then one minute you, you're sour. You've always been that way. Look at that, look at that right there. I'm not saying it in a mean way. Do you hear, okay. There's certain, sometimes you just have to accept things about yourself. Like it's not, I'm not even being negative. But if you know that about yourself, then you'll be able to tell people like, hey, you know, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm feeling kind of moody right now. Then people can better react. Okay, I'm offending him, so I'm not trying. Now, here's the thing. I love this, but now I'm scared of the black and I don't want to use blue or any of these other colors. So we're going to use it. You know what would really look nice? I'm just not sure how it would do. This actually looks pretty fantastic. See, Scarab, Scarab is, is what I want. How is that gonna work as a transition? How's it gonna work as an outer corner? All right, so this is the plan. Now let's, I don't know, this is a little risky. We're gonna take Scarab and Beetle together. Yes, that, that looks real good, y'all, that looks real good. Cause I was a little stumped at first. I Let's be honest here, I was like, what do I do with this palette? But now I am seeing it, I'm seeing it. Okay, so mm, y'all, let us pray, okay. Okay, so we're just, what time is it anyway? Marky's not going to school today. His allergies are just not doing what they need to do. Okay, no more pigment needed, I don't think, because I don't want this to be like, 
I don't know, super, super crazy looking. Not crazy, but oh yeah, I don't think we need any more pigment. You know what, this is cute. I don't know. Oh, why? All right, I'm gonna have to fix that. That was my fault, trying, trying to do something extra. So I'm excited. I know that needs to be blended. I'm gonna have to clean up this other eye, which is unfortunate, but I was trying to be cute and like try to make it have like a little uh, wing situation and had something on my hand. So I like how Beetle looks with Scarab. I like that mix. This is really special. All right, so this is it, y'all. This is pretty much, well, no, it's not lies. It's not it. All right. That's what we've got. I really like it actually. Ooh, especially for Star Wars Day. Like, I'm your father. Actually, it's not Star Wars Day, it's Disney Day. What am I talking about? Now we need an under eye shade and I think I'm just gonna do the same thing on the bottom that I did on the top, which was take uh, regeneration. I'm actually thinking about, you know what? I'm not thinking. Regeneration and then cosmology. And this is an unearthly cosmetics you see six five <laughs> oh no you see eight three I, it's hard for me to see it uh it's slanted it's angled which is nice and i'm gonna just lightly sweep under the lower lash i was saying all kinds of numbers y'all i can't so y'all know I'm making these waffles. And these kids better sit. I got my have two waffle makers going at once. I was telling my mom, like, don't you have to throw the first waffle away? Some people were like, no. My mom was like, yeah, usually you throw the first waffle away. That's the only person I would have gotten that idea from. She's like, yeah, you know, the manufacturer's oils on it. Oh my God. Okay, so now I gotta make two and throw one away. Throw them both away. Let's go into cosmology. I'm just gonna try to tap it here. Oh gosh, I gotta fix this eye, y'all. No. I'm gonna switch brushes, cause this brush is not, um, I don't want this brush. Unearthly Cosmetics UC86 brush. These are good brushes though, I will say that. I just needed something a little more um, targeted, I guess. Oh yeah. All right, that's what, y'all, y'all see where this is going. Like, I know it's not perfect, but it's just inspo, you know? All right, now for the inner corner. Wait, wait, we're gonna do life. Life, 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 life. Like, that was really the chorus to the song. One word. Speaking of the movie Life, I love that movie. If you have not seen the movie Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, you are missing out. I would say that's one of my top 10 favorite movies. It's so good. It's long, but it is so good. And while we're talking about Eddie Murphy, you have to watch the movie Mr. Church. I feel like he should have got an Oscar for Mr. Church, truth be told. But back to life, life had so many funny people in it. Did you know that um, Rick James was in life? He was, look it up. Anyway, there was Bernie Mac. There was the guy that played in Joanna Man. I didn't like the movie Joanna Man. I don't think I saw all the movie Joanna Man, but he is funny, he was funny. Heavy D was in that movie. Anthony Anderson is in that movie. <gasps> Bokeem Woodbine is in life. Oh my gosh. It's another good actor, great actor. It's really good. He's like, you gonna eat your cornbread? He's like, but I'll eat your cornbread. Oh, I forgot, we still gotta do the um, highlighter and all that, so let me stop. Okay, this is it. I am thrilled. This right here though, Excellent, fantastic. I'm going to try to figure this situation out. Liner, mascara, and then we'll figure out what to do with the lips and the uh, highlighter. That's what we'll do, be right back. I wasn't even recording. I was already on the lipstick that I don't even want to. <sighs> but when I got back on here, you know what I said? How did I get live? <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch it. Here's a finished look, y'all, because now I'm playing around. 
This look right here, fantastic. I have Boom. nothing bad to say. Thank you, August. Looks great. Uh, blends well. It's special. I want my yellow belt to karate. You did. Uh, to finish off this look, I took the Victoria Beckham eyeliner in the shade Olive. So that's just the green. And now we're going to figure the rest of this look out. Somehow I found all struck. All right, let's try this and see. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think Unearthly had one. Um, they have some really unique mattes though and uh, glosses. You can use this shade Renewal as a blush or like a blush topper. I'm gonna grab a matte blush and then we'll use it as a topper. All right, I have an Unearthly Cosmetics UC, is this a, maybe it's, no it's an eight, UC81. I have a bronzer brush. I'm gonna use it for a blush though. And this is Pat McGrath Divine Rose. It's a cool tone pink and I think it picks up on the Divinal uh, Lip Ink. I'm not gonna use a lot because I really do want the topper to stand out. So just to give a little flush of color to the cheeks like that. There we go. Now I'm gonna go into Renewal. And this is the same formula as the low light highlight palette from Unearthly. Just gonna swirl it. And let's see how this looks as a topper. Ooh, okay. Well, that did what it, oh! Okay, that did what it needed to do. Oh, this is going with my Mandalorian theme as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this is the, the blush or the blush topper. Love that. And now that my lips have dried down, we'll go ahead and use Omen. This has kind of a cosmetic-y smell. Nothing bad, pretty smooth. Okay, well this is the look for Disney Day. Where are my Mardi Gras ears? Let me show them to you. It's these. See that, aren't those cute? That's gonna be so cute today. That's it, um, as far as this look, I love it. That's it, I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, I, I think that the thing that makes the look really special is this shade right here in the middle like that. I mean, I like them all. I love the solar symbol over the green matte and then that creation shade in the middle, that just gives it a nice like segue to the deeper, smokier outer corner. And I'm here for that. I love the cool tone lipstick with it. The gloss on top looks great. And you just get that extra galactic goodness with this uh, highlighter. So I'm going to work. I'm gonna get y'all in another look. I know I was a little chatty, but I don't know. I love talking to y'all, even though I'm talking to the camera right now. You know how it is. All right, y'all, next look. Hey, y'all, we're about to get into this second look. I have my small world ears on today. I did plan a look, but I can't remember <laughs> what it was. Oh, right, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna figure it out. I do know I wanna start with Cerambis. I'm using an Unearthly Cosmetics A6 brush. So I have two sets of Unearthly Cosmetics brushes. One is from when they were alien, and then the other set is the Unearthly set. So if you hear me say like A something or U something, that's the difference. Oh yes, so this is like a gray, but I don't know, like a purple gray. A prey, don't you call it? What do you call a purple gray? A gurple, a gurple, a gurple sounds nicer than a, a prey, I don't like that. Gonna go ahead and put this on the inner part of the transition area. I am bringing it into the crease. I like colors like this. And so that's what we are starting with. And next I wanna go into Nymph. I am going to use the same brush. I'm going to, let's see, kinda merge it into the crease and the outer corner. This looks really nice together. So I think this looks really nice now. Really curious. I wanna use Ancient. Um, like this looks great by itself, but I, I do wanna use a little bit of that red and see what happens if we just tap it over top. Ooh, oh, okay. I kinda like the vibrancy that Ancient is giving us. So 
You can kind of see the difference in the two eyes, I think. I didn't think about doing it this way. Ooh, okay. Because at first I was like, how am I gonna use ancient? What am I gonna do? This kind of gives it a little amped up situation. So I'm into that, okay. I, I really like that. I'm just gonna do the same thing here on the other side. I kind of like that I'm using ancient in a non-traditional way. I really do like a red smoky eye. Uh, I'm not doing that here, but I have a Chanel quad where I did a red smoky eye that I love it. Oh my gosh. I am still gonna be using the Doorline uh, Mixing Medium from Inglot on my hand. And the shade I'm gonna go into is Jewel. Using it on Earthly Cosmetics, you see I think it's a B, I can't tell. Eight brush, it's a flat shader. We're gonna go into Jewel, this one, and then into the mixing medium. So that is what we have so far, which actually looks really nice. I wasn't sure how I was gonna use this Jewel shade. Looks really pretty. And next I'm gonna go into Transformation. This is gonna be, this is another shade I really like actually. Going into the mixing medium and placing it in the center between the matte and the first shimmer, which is Jewel. I'm gonna go in with my finger now. I feel like I have enough of the uh, door line down that it's gonna adhere really well. Oh yes, mm-hmm. Yep, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the other eye the same way, using the Doorline Primer or Glitter Mixing Medium. Now going in with my finger. It's gonna be a lot faster this time. This looks really nice, and you know, if you wanted to make this smoky, you could use Scarab or Beetle. Uh, Scarab is that shimmer gray. Beetle is the black matte with sparkle. This looks nice, really nice actually. And let me know what you think about this one. For the under eye, I am gonna go into Nymph. I'm using the Unearthly Cosmetics 3 brush. And I'm going to just sweep this under the lower lash line. Just like that. I cannot see the name of this brush, but this is another Unearthly Cosmetics one. And I am gonna go into Regeneration, which is the neon green matte. I think that's gonna look great for our inner corner highlight. All right, here is look number two with Resurgence, and I'm into it. I really am, I like this. So let's look at the other shade in the highlighter palette. Today we're gonna to be playing with the shade Rebirth. On my cheeks I have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and I have on the Divine Rose blush from Pat McGrath. Using an Unearthly Cosmetics A4 brush. It's a nice one for highlighting. I'm gonna go right into Rebirth and go ahead and sweep this on. Let's do some angles here so we can see. So yes, this is one that you're definitely going to want to wear on top of something else to give it, you know, some extra sparkle and duochrome shine. This is going to be really pretty on the eye too if you want to use it that way, especially for an inner corner highlight. All right, so this is the second look. I'm gonna go ahead and get liner and mascara. I'll be back to talk about this look and to close out the video. Y'all, I'm back with the final look and I just took pictures of it and I'm like, I don't know if I was thinking I would get this look from this palette. I think it's really nice. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when Unearthly Cosmetics did their strawberry milkshake palette. That's kind of what this is giving me. 
And I don't think I would have thought I would get a strawberry milkshake vibe from this resurgence palette at all. I really, really like this. I use the Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Bordeaux on the lower lash line. And I use the Maybelline Surreal Falsies Mascara. I love this look a lot. It is really pretty and special. For lipstick, I'm wearing the shade Moxie from Prop of Beauty. Remember them? What happened to Prop of Beauty? Moxie was a great shade. They had so many good ones. So let me know if you know, cause I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this look. Beautiful. I kind of already said uh, my thoughts. I didn't really see this look in the palette, which it, the palette has a lot of range, which is nice. And I think this look came out way better than I thought it was gonna look. Let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts on this collection. I definitely think it's worth it especially if you like bold looks, if you like to combine different types of colors, if you want a palette that can do a lot of things, I, I think you would really enjoy this palette because I was challenged. And if you like that, I think you're gonna love this one. As far as the performance of the palette, I had no issues with anything in the palette at all. The mattes were matting, the shimmers were shimming. They blended very well. I, I don't have anything negative to say about the quality of the palette at all. I think the color story might be difficult for some people to use, but I also think the idea of dividing the palette in half the way that Heather suggested is gonna be super helpful because it was really, really helpful for me. And then you can kind of change a shade like here and there to kind of go across those two halves to make some really interesting color stories. And I really, really like that. As far as the highlighter palette goes, I like both of the highlighters and I think these are gonna look beautiful on the cheeks as well as on the eyes. So don't limit yourself to just keeping this as a highlighter palette. Now the gloss, which I have right here, I think for me, this is a really great topper. For me wearing this alone is probably gonna make my lips look a little too pale, but I thought it worked well as a topper. Matter of fact, let's try it on now, on top of Moxie and see how that looks. I think it's gonna be great. I think the sparkles in this are gonna go with any type of uh, lipstick that you choose to use as a base to give it just, uh, you know, a nice shine. So yeah, I think it looks great on Moxie. Very nice. Heather, I think you did a great job with this collection and you made it different from the Adept palette. You know what I mean? I feel like that would be a bit challenging to create something new. And I think this is a challenge that many brands have and uh, collaborators have, you know, how do we, continue to put out uh, different products and make them new. I think she did a great job with this and made both collections very different. So yes, congratulations, Heather. Thank you again so much for, you know, considering me for this and thinking of me for this. I, I just feel really good about it and I feel very humbled by it. I hope I did the palette and the collection justice because I really like both of these looks. So again, if you are interested in this collection, it is gonna release on May 25th, 2023 at 12 p.m. EST. There is a bundle for the whole uh, box and that's $86. And then I'll have the individual products uh, listed separately in the description box. And remember the codes don't work on this collection, but whether you're gonna get it or not, I do hope that you found the looks inspiring and that you just enjoy watching. You know, even if you don't get it, everything is not about buying something, you can just, enjoy it you know and that's it so thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one another mimosas and makeup i hope this was therapy for you it always is for me and until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i will see y'all in the next one bye oh,